Hey guys, it's Gabi, and today we're making homemade granola bars, and I can promise you, you'll never buy store-bought granola bars ever again. Like, it's so embarrassingly easy. First thing we're gonna do is combine two and a half cups of old-fashioned oats and half a cup of almonds, and just chop them up. Toss this all together. We're just gonna put these right onto the baking sheet with a little bit of parchment paper, and then just spread them into an even layer. And then these are gonna go into a 350 degree oven for like seven to 10 minutes. You just kinda wanna toast the almonds and the oats and like really bring out all the flavor. And then we'll make the topping. Okay, so while we're toasting the oats and the almonds, we're gonna put all this stuff into our pot. So we have a fourth of a cup of butter, a third of a cup of honey, teaspoon of vanilla extract, teaspoon of chia seeds like a teaspoon of Maldon sea salt. We'll finish this mixture off with a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. I think that was it, I can't really remember anymore. But we're just gonna take a spatula, combine all that in, and then bring it to a boil. We want everything to combine, the sugars to melt. Stir that together and let it go. All right, so take the butter mixture. We're just gonna put it right on our cutting board and then grab the toasted oats, and these can go back in the same bowl. Okay, so we're just gonna dump this whole mixture into our toasted oats and almonds, and just make sure you get out all the chia seeds and anything that might be stuck to the bottom of this pan, and just give this a toss. And as everything starts to combine, like you can see the butter mixture coat all the oats, all the almonds, so like everything is delicious. We're just gonna toss in a half a cup of dried fruit and then mix it together. So we're just gonna let this cool for a second, like maybe five minutes, then add the chocolate chips so you can still see them and they look cute. Okay, so we're just gonna use an eight by eight, nine by nine, something like that baking dish. And I'm actually gonna use the same parchment paper that I used to toast the oats. Press that down into the bottom and then remember that baking spray? We're just gonna use a little bit more. Okay, this is just gonna go right into here and then we'll sprinkle the chips on top. If you want, if you still have baking spray, just spray the back of your spatula and then not very much sticks to the back of your spatula. Look at that, it looks good, right? So if you don't like chocolate, who doesn't like chocolate? You could leave it like this, but I'm just gonna sprinkle on maybe a fourth a cup of these mini chocolate chips right on top. Put a couple more chips on and then take your spatula again. Just press everything together. I mean, who doesn't wanna eat that as is? Okay, so we're just gonna transfer this to the fridge, let it sit for an hour or two, and then we can cut them up. Okay, and look, they're hardened up, ready to go. And this is why we put the parchment paper in. We're just gonna lift them up and transfer them right to the cutting board. I mean, basically no cleanup needed. Okay, you can chop these into squares, rectangles, like I'm kind of reliving my childhood with these, so we're going rectangles, and just cut them all up. I mean, how good do these look? You could wrap them up in some plastic wrap, store them in the fridge, put them in Tupperware. They actually freeze really well if you wanna freeze them and like make them last for a couple months. And that's it, way cheaper than buying them from the store and 100 times more delicious.